Hi grading students, welcome to my class. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the Earth's lithosphere. Specifically, this topic will help you to achieve the following objectives. First, describe the Earth's lithosphere and differentiate oceanic from continental crust. Second, you have to infer that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into plates and identify the major plates. And finally, the last, determine the scientific basis for dividing the lithospheric plates. Let us start our discussion by recalling the different layers of the Earth. So first, we have the crust. The crust is the outermost and the thinnest layer of the Earth. Then, beneath the crust, we have the mantle. It is the largest layer of the Earth. Also, it is denser compared to the crust. Then, we have the core. The core is divided into two. We have the outer core and we have the inner core. So, core is mainly made of metals like iron and nickel. Outer core is molten while the inner core is solid. So, what is a lithosphere? When we say lithosphere, it is a rigid a solid layers of rocks that covers the entire earth. However, it's not as solid as you think of. It has cracks that can be found not only in the continents but also even in the ocean floor. Because of these cracks, the lithosphere is broken down into smaller pieces. And these smaller pieces is known as the or these smaller pieces are known as the tectonic plates. As you can see, the tectonic plates are separated or there are edges found in between tectonic plates. We call these edges that separate the tectonic plates as plate boundaries. Again, the edges that separates tectonic plates from another are called plate boundaries. So the earth is analogous to a hard boiled egg. If you can see, the outer shell of the hard-boiled egg represents the lithosphere of the earth, while each section of the shell or broken part of the broken section, I mean, of the shell represents the tectonic plates. So what makes a lithosphere, by the way? So lithosphere is composed of ayan, the continental crust and the solid part of the mantle or the uppermost layer of the mantle. Again, Earth's crust plus the upper mantle or the uppermost layer of the mantle makes the what we call the lithosphere. And you will see that lithosphere is floating on top of this layer known as the asthenosphere. Asthenosphere is a weak layer found in the mantle and this layer facilitates movement on top. All right. Tectonic plates can be classified into either continental plate or oceanic plate. So continental plate is associated with the exposed land masses. So the land mass that we can see around where you can see mountains, buildings, and other infrastructure that falls under the continental plate. And oceanic plates, obviously, as you can see, this type of plate lies on the ocean floor. In terms of thickness, um, continental plate is about 25 to 70 kilometers thick. However, for the oceanic plate, it's about 7 to 10 kilometers thick only. So obviously, continental uh, plate is thicker than the oceanic plate. Then, for the density, continental plate has an average density of 2.7 grams centimeters cubed. While for the oceanic plate, it's about 3.0 grams cubic centimeters. So which is denser? Is it the oceanic or the continental? Upon seeing the value, obviously, it's the oceanic plate. Again, oceanic plate is denser than the continental plate. Using the radioactive dating technique, it was found out that the age of the rocks found in the continental plate is about 4 billion years while for the oceanic plate, it's about 260 million years. So which is older, continental or oceanic plate? Continental plate is mainly made of granite rocks. All right, that's the, uh, how a granite rocks look like. Then for the oceanic plates, mainly made of 
basalt rocks. Again, for the continental plate, it's made of granite rocks. Then for the oceanic plates, mainly made of the basalt rocks. Just like what I have mentioned a while ago, that the lithosphere is broken down into smaller pieces known as the tectonic plates. And these tectonic plates are separated by the edges known as the plate boundaries. Again, plate boundaries are the edges that separate one tectonic plate from another tectonic plates. So tectonic plates can be the, uh, categorized into two as primary plates and the other one is the secondary plates. Again, there are 15 major plates. Seven of them are primary plates. They are, called, they are called primary plates because they are larger plates, while the secondary plates are the smaller plates. So what are the seven primary plates and what are the eight secondary plates? So join me as I identify the different primary plates and the secondary plates. So for the primary plates, we have yeah, the North American plate. Eurasian plate, Pacific plate, African plate, Australian plate, Antarctic plate, and South American plate. Again, take note of them. We have the North American plate, we have the Eurasian plate, African plate, South American plate, Antarctic plate, Pacific plate, and the Australian or the Indo-Australian plate. Then, for the secondary plates, we have the following, the Juan de Fuca plate, second, the Philippine plate, next, we have the Caucasus plate, then Caribbean plate, Arabian plate, Indian plate, Scotia plate, Nazca plate. Okay, so all in all, there are eight um, secondary plates and seven primary plates. Okay, so... Thank you.